you're welcome uh, to this QuickBooks presentation today. How are you welcome? We are going to take you through uh, QuickBooks Online because um, we cannot actually work uh, on QuickBooks Desktop due to the distance. Uh, you will need to install the software first. Uh, and for you to install the software, naturally, you need to have the software. And for you to have the software, you surely need to uh, either buy from QuickBooks or get the license somewhere. So um, already, I think you should know me, Mr. Brandon. I am uh, Geminis. I'm Geminis on what they've I am uh, an accountant by profession, uh, equally a trainer, and uh, I am kind of a bookkeeper, a certified bookkeeper by Intuit, and uh, also a QuickBooks advisor. Um, and today we are we are offering this uh, this session because we have as objective to build the. Uh, the accountability in Cameroon to make sure that or to make sure that Cameroonians actually implement uh, and they do accounting for your businesses. So they have information that can actually help them for decision making. You are in the field, you know very well that in Cameroon actually we do not do real accounting. All we need, all we need is just to make sure that with tax regulations we are okay. Once the taxes are fine, businessmen out there they don't want to know more. They, they just want they just want their taxes to be fine. So uh these programs we are making it uh actually for some people to actually see how they do accounting because when we do accounting in most of our schools we do theories and uh, at the end of the day when we graduate we forget about all of those because on the field actually we do not really practice except we actually go to a big company which does all these things <laughs> so um Take to the next slide. First of all, we'll start by presenting Profest. Profest uh, is basically an accounting firm that do offer four types of services. We have one which is business automation service where we install uh, accounting system for companies. We have bookkeeping where we keep records of uh, businesses, finances, transaction expenses, revenues, and we prepare the financial statements at the end of uh, the period based on the agreed time. Um, we do equally offer uh, taxation services. I think uh, you two offer these services, Mr. Brandon. Um, and uh, we equally do trainings, trainings uh, on all of our services. But um, recently, we, we, we have uh, get, gotten uh, an accreditation with Minifop, so we do not just offer these trainings now. We will start offering some other trainings like digital marketing, like uh, complete accounting courses to offer DQP, CQP, aside our normal uh, services uh, we are rendering. So, um, so let's let, let's talk about uh, QuickBooks. Let's talk about QuickBooks. What is actually QuickBooks? Before we talk about that, why can we talk about QuickBooks confidently? Why can we talk about QuickBooks confidently? We can talk about QuickBooks confidently because QuickBooks is the best accounting software so far. Uh, you can get online and check. QuickBooks is ranked uh, amongst uh, the top five accounting softwares worldwide used. And um, also, we can uh, make this training or make uh, this program to advise people on the use of QuickBooks because I am QuickBooks Pro Advisor. So a QuickBooks Pro Advisor is someone who has a badge like this and who is certified by the Intuit company to advise and guide people, train and offer accounting services on the name, in the name of QuickBooks. So um, uh, we have been certified by QuickBooks to offer this type of program, uh, which gives us uh, grounds uh, because some people might be like, oh, why, how can you, um, why, what, 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 what makes you think that you can make this training and so on? So, I think someone is trying to join. Okay. Okay. Welcome, uh, Mr. Uh, Zimbi. Mr. Zimbi, can you get me? Hello, Mr. Zimbi. Uh, I think 
think I should, should write a message. Yeah, this, this someone just joined Mr. Zimbi. Oh. So, um, do you have any questions concerning the, the previous part, right, sir? Okay. So, what is QuickBooks? So, what is QuickBooks? QuickBooks um, is an accounting software designed for keeping track of income and expenses, basically. QuickBooks will help us to keep track of income and expenses. Uh, it's easy to use, flexible, provides you with accurate accounting processes as well as trading processes, payroll management, time tracking, and uh, tax returns. So QuickBooks can help us manage a business completely and ease our work in tracking the income and expenses and ease our work in making the accounting process. I guess uh, you've used Sash before, um, right? You, 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 you use Sash, right? Hello? Are you there? Mr. Brandon? Yeah. Okay. So, yes, I'm, yes I, I was saying that QuickBooks can help us to easily track our income and the expenses and they help us in preparing financial statements easily or any type of financial reports. It can help us in our trading processes inventory management, stock management. Uh, uh, it can help us manage any type of business except banks, uh, from NGOs to product-based to service-based businesses, marketing agencies, insurance companies. A lot of other um, companies can be managed with QuickBooks, and more precisely, QuickBooks Online. So QuickBooks provides both uh, online and uh, offline services. So um, I'll talk about online services. We're going to see it further in our Next slide that will follow after this. So how can people help? People can help us track other sources of income. Okay. It can help us track our accounts payable. It can help us track time, payroll, manage project activities and the tasks. Help us to manage our different revenues by creating invoices, receiving payments by cash, transfer, by bonds. It can help us purchase, it can help us in the purchase of inventories into our stores or libraries. It can equally help us purchase um, a different type of uh, products or assets. It can help us easily record expenses. It can help us make adjustments for inventory losses, reconciliation, um, uh, recon reconciling uh, inventories for materials. It can help us easily prepare financial reports, all sorts of financial reports. Is it an income report? different types of income report is it income by product income by customer expense report expense by vendors expense by cost expense by different type of expenses different purchase reports different inventory reports profit or loss by department by cause by program balance sheet different type of balance sheet detailed balance sheet standard balance sheet cash flow statements all sorts of reports we need are available in quickbooks all we need to do is to manage our daily revenues and uh, expenses QuickBooks can also help us to produce the fixed financial statement, which is um, um, uh, notes on financial statements. It will help us easily prepare notes on financial statements in such a way that from QuickBooks, you can write the notes and export them into PDF, which is your work. Okay. So, these are the different QuickBooks products. If uh, you intend to use QuickBooks, you can use QuickBooks Online, QuickBooks Desktop, QuickBooks Payroll, or QuickBooks Time. For QuickBooks Online, they are further divided into five other products, and these are your monthly prices. The prices might be different because uh, I might have made a screenshot at a particular time where the prices were showing these, but as of now, the prices might be lower or higher. So uh, if you just go to the website for QuickBooks, you can get there and ask for QuickBooks pricing. I mean, if you just go on Google, you type the QuickBooks pricing, you're going to see the different pricings of QuickBooks. 
Facebook's online works online. It means you can have access to a company file from your mobile device. The same company file you can have it from your tablet or from your computer. If you do not have your computer, you can take another computer or another phone or another tablet and log into your computer. However, it's on cloud. It means you can have access to it anywhere, anytime, if at all you have internet connection. So, so far as you have internet connection, it's guaranteed that you're going to have access to your um, uh, to your to your accounting file in QuickBooks with QuickBooks Online. We equally have a QuickBooks desktop, which is what uh, we did with on-site people here. And uh, it is one which is installed only, only on the desktop and works only on that desktop. You create a company file in that desktop, it works only in that desktop or in that company, in that uh, computer. But um, if you have the same company, if you have a uh, QuickBooks installed in another computer, you can open it in that other computer. Okay. If you have QuickBooks in another computer, you can open the company file in that other computer. It's just like Sarge. Just like you can you can you can transfer your search company file from one company from one computer to another you can equally transfer a quickbooks file from one computer to another but if that computer do not have a quickbooks like quickbooks desktop that computer will not be able to open the file which is logical if you are using a, um, a office office applications if you do not have office in a computer you cannot open ms excel you cannot open ms word the same way but if it is installed in the computer you can definitely open it so this one is basically offline, but it doesn't mean that it can't go online. It can go online, it can make some operations online, but to have access to your company, you get it on your computer or on the local network system. You can make a local network system where many computers are, commun are communicating together or connected to one, and you have access to the different company first. We equally have QuickBooks Payroll, which helps us to calculate sales taxes. Um, I wish us to calculate uh, employees, salaries, contributions, uh, taxes, and uh, it is a software that is attached to QuickBooks Online. It means when you buy QuickBooks Online, you can later on add QuickBooks Payroll as another product, if at all you need to manage payrolls in QuickBooks Online. QuickBooks Desktop, some versions do not have payroll management. So as a result, uh, you cannot work with uh, payroll on that QuickBooks Desktop. But I think uh, QuickBooks uh, 2019 upward has uh, payroll integrated in the system. So you do not need to get an external application to manage your payroll. You can manage your payroll directly in Facebook's desktop if you have Facebook's desktop as from 2019 upward. But if you are using Facebook's online, Facebook's online cannot manage payroll. You have to attach another company file which is called Facebook's payroll, either uh, payroll core plus Facebook simple start, payroll, uh, payroll core plus Facebook essential, Facebook plus, and attach it to your subscription. You must have gotten Facebook's online. Same thing with QuickBooks Time. QuickBooks Time is equally um, uh, a separate software from QuickBooks Online, which can help you to track time. It can help you to track the position of your employees at any point in time. It can help you to track at what time your employees logged into the system, logged out into, I mean, in the workplace, and so on. And there is Time Elite and it's equally Time Premium with their different prices, and they are to be attached to QuickBooks Online. It means that these do not actually work independently. They can work independently, but they are most of the time attached to QuickBooks Online. In terms of QuickBooks Online, we have QuickBooks Simple Start Essential, uh, self-employed plus and advanced. As you can see, the more you move in, the more it is getting expensive because the more you move in, there are equally added functionalities on each of them. So before you create a company uh, in QuickBooks, you have to ask yourself the different type of things you're going to be doing in that company, different types of service products you're going to be selling for that business. And you help you to know whether you have to take the self-employed simple start essential plus or advanced because they have different functionalities. For example, if a company intends to manage inventory, then that company cannot take people self-employed. That company cannot take people simple start. That company cannot take people essential. They will be forced to start as from QuickBooks Plus because inventory management actually starts from QuickBooks Plus. But it doesn't mean that you cannot um, uh, put quantities in these other three versions. You can put quantities, but you will not have the possibility to manage inventory. You have the possibility to see how many units were bought, how many were sold, how many units are left, and value your stuff. So from there, you can start with QuickBooks Plus or QuickBooks Advance. And you need to know that the prices, like I said earlier before, will vary. Like, for example, I likely saw a promotion for Cameroon or for some African countries where uh, you register uh, with $1 uh, for every month for six months. That's crazy. That's really good uh, from uh, advertising the product. Now, now, after the six months, you then up uh, upgrade and start using the paid version. Actually, a paid version for more than $1, actually. So the Scribbles Desktop, the Scribbles Desktop Premier Plus, which is $799, and this one is $1,340 dollars closely uh, a million francs so these are then the different 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 um, products that quickbooks has do you have any question
The difference is that Kribu's desktop works on only on Kribu's desktop works only on uh, a, a server or a, a computer. A com it's a computer-based uh, software. This one is a browser-based software. It's online, can have access to it anywhere. But uh, this one, Kribu's desktop enterprise, uh, has practically all the functionalities in here in the Kribu's Plus. Okay, Kribu's Plus meaning. All the functionalities that Kribus Plus are in here now, uh, uh, in uh, other versions like from 2019, it has all of these plus payroll, plus payroll. So it practically has a lot of functionalities inside. Very nice. Can manage any type of business except a bank. Um, it's actually very nice. There's practically no difference in terms of functionality. Uh, the only thing is to know where to go and get to those functionalities because the places where informations are located in QuickBooks desktop is, are not the same places where they are located in QuickBooks uh, online. And also, QuickBooks online has some added for, uh, functionalities like you can connect your bank account if your bank account is recognized by QuickBooks. You can connect your bank account uh, to QuickBooks and uh, make uh, and uh, send uh, and uh, make uh, link payments, payment links. Um, with QuickBooks Online, when you make an invoice, it sends an email to your customer all the time. You can set reminders to your customers so that it automatically reminds your customer when their, their bills are due. Uh, invoicing uh, is practically online. You can uh, snap receipts from your phone and uh, the record as an expense with QuickBooks Online. Actually, you can also download QuickBooks Online on your phone, right? You can download the app, QuickBooks Online. It's also very good. It is not uh, like, it is. It's, it does not have the same interface on the browser, but it can help you to do some little things like record quick expenses, like record uh, some payments from customers, make some sales receipts, and you can connect your phone to a printer that is uh, might be connected to Wi-Fi or Bluetooth and easily make uh, your sales operations. Those who attended on site today, yes, I, I installed this one. I installed this package. I installed this package on your desktop. On your, on your computer, on your laptop, however, on your laptop. So it got installed. So sure, sure. You can come uh, can you can install uh, the software in your computer. So far as you've already attended one of our programs. But uh, um, it's not it will not be a form of a training. Remember this is a seminar. And uh, we are going to be seeing things uh, a little bit surfacely. Yes. So anytime you come with your machine, we're going to install the QuickBooks desktop in your machine. Okay. So um, I think uh, we will get to some practical things. Um, if you go, for example, uh, in the browser, you look for QuickBooks pricing. It will permit you, I can get to, for example, the QuickBooks website, view our plans and prices. Wow, see, in our location for now, say, uh, get free books for one, one euro per month for three months for a limited time only, see? Facebook is making some good ads, some good, uh, some convincing kind of things, you know? So instead of $16 for simple start, instead of uh, $17, however, for simple start, you pay one dollar for the next three months. I mean, one euro. I mean, for the next three months, one euro. Any plan you choose now, you pay one dollar. One euro. I mean, and the one euro. I think uh, is not up to seven hundred francs. Something if it passes away, at most seven hundred francs. So from there, you see the different functionalities that each of the products has. Like simple start, it has. It can track income and expenses, send customers invoice, track a uh, bank, uh, track VAT. Insights reports, you can get some good reports. The capture organized receipts, uh, progress invoicing for one user plus your accountant, only one user and your accountant. Added to that, the Facebook's Essential will uh, have managed bills payable, bills and payments, track employees' time, multi currency. Okay, with this, you can have many currencies, manage different currencies. Uh, it has uh, three users plus your accountant. Then the plus you see plus can track inventory this other two cannot track inventory plus can track inventory make recurring transactions and bills uh, track projects profitability manage budgets five users and plus it means if you're a construction firm that will have projects then you need to um, uh, get a quick boost plus because it is most appropriate for 
such a business. If you're trying to, if you have a business that will have to track inventory, you have to use FreeBooks Plus, manage budgets, can have five users. So, um, we are going to see how to create a company file in QuickBooks today and tomorrow we are going to see how to manage the whole QuickBooks interface in order to prepare accurate reports for any type of business. Okay, so if you had a, if you had a computer connected, you have also uh, logged into uh, the site so that uh, it will be going together. However, like uh, I said, the class is recorded; you can go through it later on. So. Uh, yeah, if you want to log into QuickBooks, you can just go and type QuickBooks login and you click on login. On my own side, I can log into my account. So you need to know that aside these products, aside uh, aside these products, there's also what we call QuickBooks accountant. There's also what we call QuickBooks accountant. QuickBooks accountant is uh, what I can log into in here. It is basically for accountants, or let me say it is for QuickBooks Pro Advisors. Um, if you're an accountant, you can create a QuickBooks Accountant account, and uh, you, you take the exam. If you pass the exam, you become a QuickBooks Pro Advisor. And from there, you can manage different businesses from your own account. Like if I try logging in, just to show you uh, how my interface looks like before we are going to create a company itself. So. Um, So my account is uh, my business where I can manage different clients, okay? And I can uh, have other other accounts. So I can take my company. So uh, if you want to be a QuickBooks Pro Advisor, uh, we can grant you access to the training and uh, you take the training and the exam uh, and if you pass the exam, which is divided into five modules, you become a Quibus Pro Advisor certified by Intuit. So this is how my interface as a Quibus Accountant will look like. Uh, no, I was recently working on some reports, so I'll just get to the dashboard, no, to overview. So practically, this is a how uh, the platform is going to look like something like this from here as you can see i can manage my clients clients uh, i am working i'm working on so From here, I can log into I can log into a client's account and, and work on his books. From here, this side I have a lot of functionalities that can help me manage uh, different uh, accounts. So, however, I just wanted to show you uh, my interface because it's kind of different from uh, a normal uh, a normal account. So, so I will uh, I will get to create. Uh, Creating a company file so we create together. So I can come here to QuickBooks Plus and uh, get a register for a 30 days free trial. I'm not going to buy any subscription for the training. I'm just going to, it's, it's going to have all the functionalities and all the same procedures just like I take by, but it was, the company is going to be free for 30 days. So I'll just take this and I'm taking QuickBooks Plus. So when you get to the creation of a company, this is uh, the first page that's going to show up. So from here, you have to put the detailed information of uh, the company, starting with your email. Um, it is your email that will help you to always log into your your account. So um, almost all my emails are already used. Up. I'm just going to try and see whether a particular email will go. So when I put an email, I can put the first name, last name, 
and here I select uh, my country. I select my country. I'm going to put the Cameroon. You also know, need to know that um, Quibus tracks location and have some different types of services for different countries. If you're in the US or in some other countries, seriously, there are going to be some added functionalities that uh, some companies, company firing in Cameroon might not have, actually. Sincerely, that is, that is the, the reality. Phone number six two nine two two. Okay, so from here I have to create a password. I have to create a strong, really, really strong password. So I'm just going to select one of my passwords and just confirm it. So I would like to receive helpful marketing email and SMS from people. If I want some marketing emails, I'm going to push this. So let me just try. I don't know whether I've used this email before. If it doesn't go, it means I've used it before. Okay, it's going. It's going. So even from your phone, uh, you can create your company for since it's Facebook online. So it will load a little bit and it will start. So, are you done? When you put those uh, information, you send your welcome, you we are glad, your year, here is what you will do together right now. We will uh, they are going to they will ask us tell us what you need help with. We will ask a few questions and get to know your business. We will get started on uh, what uh, you're here for. So I'm just going to take next. So I'm going to have a, a bar there to show my progress and the creation of my company. So what's your business name? We will use this uh, to get you started in QuickBooks. So I'm going to put my business name. I'm going to call it uh, Professed, Professed Shopping. So when I put the business name, I can now take next. So they'll say, what's your industry? Good, good. This, this is very nice. Please, when you're creating a company in QuickBooks or you're creating a file in QuickBooks, it's very, very important for you to select the industry. Because when you select the industry in which you are, QuickBooks is going to build to do a whole system based on that industry. QuickBooks is going to put the type of information that are required or needed for that type of industry before you can then come and modify and make it work best for you. Okay. So, um, QuickBooks for this company I'm creating is actually it's actually a product-based business, but you can select any industry. So, if you do not see the industry in here, you select anything that adapts to it. Okay, you follow any industry that works best with the the the, the, the com your the, your industry's company. So, uh, you also need to know that. QuickBooks is very nice for NGOs. QuickBooks really, 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 really helps in managing NGOs. So, for example, Professor Shopping, the company I'm creating, you can create yours uh, based on. It's a, a product based business. I'm going to look for anything that suits it best. 
education, finance, medical, professional service. As an accounting firm, you can equally have uh, your three book file, a retail shop, retail and maintenance, retail trade, retail trade, e commerce, food, non food, retail trade, and e commerce. Okay, I think uh, professed, professed shopping do sell uh, in retail and uh, it's a kind of e commerce, but do not also sell food. So I'm going to select this, then I think next. Good. QuickBooks is going to ask you, obviously, to create um, or to what kind of business is this? Is it sole proprietorship, partnership, company, association, traded uh, company or corporation? So, any information you select here is building the software, the company file already. If you select company, you are going to have company related information. So, as for me, I'm going to take sole proprietor or sole trader because the business I am creating in question is a sole trading business or a sole proprietorship. So I'm going to take next. Okay, want some help uh, getting started? We will get you up and running with uh, three forty-five minutes onboarding call. Okay, if you need some help uh, so that the QuickBooks expert uh, can direct you on how to use QuickBooks quickly, you can uh, request uh, for a free uh, or onboarding call. They will show you exactly what you need to do. But for now, we're going to say not, not right now. So I'll take next. What do you want to do in QuickBooks? So QuickBooks is already gathering some information from us. Um, I want to send and track invoices. I want to track uh, receipts and expenses. Do I want to track VAT? I don't want to do VAT stocks. I want to manage stocks. I want to track sales. I equally want to track bills. So if I want to also track uh, VAT, then I can select this option. But for now, this is my wheel, actually. I don't want to track VAT. So if I want to track VAT, I just got to click on it and uh, I click next. So what should we do first? QuickBooks is asking, set up invoice to get paid or track uh, receipts and expenses. So I can choose one. I'm going to choose uh, set up invoices to get paid. So get paid with invoices, set up online payment to let customer pay you on the, on the spot. So here you can make online payments and uh, even uh, have some scanning code where you can scan a code and uh, and uh, make a payment or you can uh, receive a link you click on the link and it records the payment so what's the advantage of this when uh, you have a bank that can connect to quickbooks and uh, make online payments when you make these online payments they automatically record in your books that uh, the payment has been done and it enters in your bank account and it updates everything which is actually very nice and the avoids us to stress a lot when it comes to our invoices, man, invoice management, customers management, and so on. So give your invoice template a personal touch. We're going to personalize uh, uh, our template. Send yourself a sample to see uh, what your customers see. You could skip these steps. You could skip, you could skip the creation of uh, your invoice template. You could skip it. Or I can just decide, so that, okay, let's set it up. But there is a way, if you skip it, there's a way for you to actually uh, work it out uh, in the software already. So uh, if I want to set it up now, I can set it up or I can still uh, set it up later. So let's just finish with the company file. I'll just go back. Let's just finish with the company file. Then we'll come to all the setup. I'm going to skip this step for now. We'll come back there. Let's bring uh, your income and expenses in one place. Okay. Uh, link your accounts and they see everything in one place. Uh, securely link your bank and credit card. Select the accounts you would like to bring in. Uh, see what your cash flows look like. So at this level, I think we'll, we'll, we'll have the possibility to create some accounts or bring some accounts. Already, you should know that uh, Quibos follows international accounting standards. And um, we're not going to have things like account numbers or, or other account numbers. 
the account uh, i'm mostly going to be in the form of account names and uh, account types then uh, it doesn't mean that they do not have uh, account numbers they can be activated but they will not follow the other accounting plan so most of the times in the quickbooks we're going to be managing uh, everything in accounting only with account names but what is going to guide the account names actually will be the account type the account network is an asset liability equity expense revenue those are things that are going to guide the whole process so um yeah i would take uh, if i want to skip this stage i can skip it then set it up in the company uh but while doing this i might not have the possibility to link bank account and credit card because uh most of the times majority of the banks we have in cameroon cannot be linked to quickbooks except you have you, you get an online uh, uh, uh credit card or banking service like uh, peony which can easily be connected to quickbooks let me just take a uh, link accounts so we see what what what, what shows them do you know peony Uh, Mr. Brandon, do you know Payoni? Payoni account? They do offer banking services. So, yeah, they say let's get a picture of your profile. Payoni, Payoni, like P Payoni. Yeah. So you see, yeah, they are asking us to connect a bank or credit card account. But if you check some banks in this list, they will not be there because uh, they are not linked to QuickBooks. Like if I you look for UBA, for example, um, you see there is no UBA bank itself. If I look for EcoBank, there is only EcoBank uh, Nigeria. You see, you see, um, making it difficult for us to connect uh, accounts and uh, make uh, online payments. That is why most of the times in Cameroon we do not do that. But um, if you have uh, an account of Peony, I think Peony is here, and we can easily have. A, I okay. If you equally have a PayPal account, uh, you can attach to it. You can equally register Peony. This Peony I was talking about, Peony. Peony. Actually, it is mostly used by freelancers to to withdraw money from a uh, freelancing platforms uh, such such as uh, uh, Upwork, such as. Uh, Fiverr, so on. So, I have a Peony account actually, but uh, it's really linked to another account. I and I need some login information to get it done. So actually, what I'm saying is that you you could link uh, you could link uh, your bank account or credit card account so that so that when uh, you send invoices to your customer, you send them with a payment link, and when you send them with a payment link, they can click on the link and directly make payments in your bank accounts. Okay. So I'm going to skip it for now because uh, basically we do not have all of those things. So, uh, how do you track your receipts? How do you track your receipts today? Saving receipts is an important part of running your business. You will need uh, them. Uh, you will need them for tax time and a good record keeping. Uh, so, I save paper receipts. I save my receipts digitally. I uh, save paper and digital. I don't save receipts. So, you specify how you manage your receipts. Actually, Quibu is actually very good because when you make a payment or when you make uh, an expense and uh, that uh, your supplier or your vendor gives you a receipt, you can capture it and uh, put it in the Quibus platform because there's enough space in the Quibus platform. You can put it in the Quibus platform. It can easily help uh, track uh, those uh, receipts in case the physical ones get missing or it gets broken. You can easily retrieve them from the system. It can equally help you at the level of uh, auditing and control where they will not possibly need those physical receipts and um, they will just uh, take them online and uh, make the different controls. So I'm just going to say that, okay, I save paper and digital receipts. So keep your receipts and uh, maximize deduction. So you can download the QuickBooks app. So you can download the QuickBooks mobile app. So you see something like this, like I have QuickBooks on my, uh, on my, on my mobile device. You see, you see this an, an, an overview of how it's going to look like, like you take your phone and you capture you capture a receipt there and you automatically record the expense okay so that kind of thing so you can download the app but i'm not going to download now i'm just going to uh, skip this stage mm, 
no button to skip. Let me just take next. So we are almost ready to give it, to, to dive in, testing the waters, creating tracking categories, uh, building your dashboard, okay? So let's go, everything is fine. I think let's go. So the Quibus interface is gradually coming on. This is really, really amazing. This is really amazing. For now, uh, we are on the free trial and all the functionalities of Quibus Plus are there. Uh -huh. So this is uh, how your homepage is going to look like your company file is there. You can add your logo from here. I can take uh, this and add the logo of the company. So if I take this, for example, uh, it will take me to the settings so that I can add the logo if I want. So we will go to this settings proper. So the dashboard is loading. Okay. Uh, in terms of the dashboard, you will notice that a lot of things are not yet visible because actually we've not yet made anything in terms of in the at the level of our dashboard we can have a quick view of our profit and loss we can have a quick view of our different expenses in the form of a dashboard uh, some other information so appear here our invoices uh, our due invoices and so on so when you open your company file in quickbooks it is nice for you to actually go and make some settings so where are um, all the settings in quickbooks all the settings are on this gear icon can you see this gear icon there's a gear icon here so all the settings are in there. If you click on it, uh, you will have uh, the possibility to make different types of settings for your company, list, tools, profile. So all the settings are in here in accounts and settings. So there are some basic settings we're going to do here. But before that, you need to know that uh, you are viewing QuickBooks in the accountant view. So you can, there are different interface place when you when you're in the QuickBooks file, you can, you can see somebody's QuickBooks file, the interface is not actually like this. This uh, vertical bar is not actually like this. Based on the type of view he is in, okay. If you get to this gear icon, this is the accountant's view. So this this is this is this is perfect for for the accountant himself. Okay, this accountant view. So you can equally switch to the business view. In the business view, is going to show more business related um uh, related information. If I just switch to business view, you will see it's going to try and log me in again. And um, you notice that in terms of even the dashboard already, there are some uh, things that are actually changing, more of charts again, and so on. So just to make you understand that you can switch between the business view and the accounting view. So if I get here to the gear icon, I can move back to the accountant's view. First thing I would do is to go to account and settings. Please, there are a lot of settings we need to do here for the company. Good settings we need to do based on the industry in which we are, based on the business in question. We can make those settings here. Actually, after that, we will see how to manage some users. After that, we'll see how to create or custom some styles, some form styles. The form styles here represents the way the invoice should look like, the way the purchase, um, um, the way the, the sales receipts should look like, and so on. The templates and the the templates that our customers are going to see as receipts, as invoices. This way, you can also resize uh, your invoice. Maybe you have a different type of printer that does not print in A4. This is where you can make all the sizes and the design the way your 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 forms are going to look like. So, I'll start with uh, and here is where you have the chart of account. Okay, this way you can edit the chart of account already by default. When we create this company file, there are already some default account numbers inside based on the industry we earlier selected. So it makes it easy now to manage uh, the business proper. So here yeah, I'll go to account and settings. We'll take some account and settings. We'll make some settings concerning the company, which can help us optimize our work in the software. So it's still loading. The settings are loading.
So the settings are divided into these uh, six sections. We have company, bill, and subscription, sales, expenses, time, advance. So uh, these informations are those that we shall under company. Under company, I can come to company name. This way I can edit uh, the different informations. Like I can take this uh, pencil bar, this pencil icon. So I can have the possibility to edit the information in this section. Like here, I can add the logo of the company. I can just click uh, this uh, plus. So it will direct me to the computer so that I can add a logo. So I'll take add. From here, I can add the logo of my business. Like, uh, I can just take this logo. Can you still see my screen? So, I select the logo in question. I'm going to upload it. Yeah, I take save. So when I take save, the logo will enter there. If uh, I have to change the company name, I can change the company name from there, or I can just put the company name as a profess shopping. So if uh, you have a bad number, you have to put it here. All is fine. You take save, and you go to the next. But this 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 is more of your tax tax number, okay? Tax number. So yes. So you put it there. Yeah, we have company type. Uh, if you can, if you made a mistake at the level of a company type, you can edit it here, like the industry. You can edit the uh, whether it is no more a sole proprietorship or is it now a non profit? Is it a small business corporation? So on. So. Uh, you can edit the email. This email, this uh, company info is very important. This email uh, I have entered here is uh, the email which will be used most of the times uh, to log in, to log in my company file. Here I can put my phone number and here I can put uh, my website. Say, uh, so, take save. Yeah, I can add it, the address, street address of uh, the company in question. Uh, communications with Intuit, uh, cookies. Okay, this one we, we just going to skip this. It would basically take us to a website where we have to rate some marketing performance. So I'll go to billing and subscriptions. So when you subscribe for QuickBooks, you can uh, change your, your, your subscription. Okay, of recent, they have, they have, they have sent it to, to this area. It usually used to be here, but they are showing us that they have changed the location of billing and subscriptions. So if you take billing and subscriptions, it will actually help you to move, either move from a, a, a higher um, uh, subscription to a lower or from a lower to a higher, okay? So if you are normally satisfied with a particular subscription based on the activities you're now doing, you can uh, subscribe for an added uh, uh, plan. Like you can see, you can downgrade your plan or you can cancel the free trial and so on. So I'll just get back uh, to my settings. So I'll go under the sales, sales icon. So uh, here you can custom uh, the way your forms look like. So we are going to see how to custom this letter. 
uh, sales form content, uh, preferred invoice terms. This preferred invoice terms is a uh, net 30 days. It means that each time you create a new invoice, by default, the terms of payment will be in the net 30 days. You can select net 15 days. The net, the terms are the terms of payment actually to say that the customer will pay in, in 30 days. So it will automatically detect the date, uh, the due date of the customer's payment. Uh, preferred delivery method, if uh, you do um, uh, uh, want to send letter or print letter by default, you will get debit. I will not advise you to select this option because it might be uh, while you're making your sales receipt, you want to print immediately or send immediately on email. But uh, this option will make you send it later. So if you do shipping, shipping means you make deliveries and you charge for deliveries. If you do charge for deliveries and the, the, the delivery, uh, the delivery uh, or the shipping fee is different from the items you actually sell, then you will want to activate shipping in your sales invoices or your sales receipts. You're going to be having uh, uh, an option or a space to put the shipping fees. Customers fears, go to setting list. Uh, customers fears to manage your customers fears. Okay, so we have, have custom transaction number. Custom transaction number. So automatically the transaction number will be moving from transaction number one to number two, number three, if you activate this, which is fine. Uh, if you want to be adding service dates, because you can actually be making a, a sales to somebody or uh, under the services to take place in some different day. So you will want to activate service dates. Here you have uh, discounts. If uh, you intend to offer discounts on sales receipts, on sales forms, however, you can activate this. Like I'm going to activate this. You will see how it will be appearing. Uh, if you do make deposits, what does it mean to make deposit? In a sales form, for example, an invoice, when you make an invoice, it is a document which is done on credit. And um, since this document is done on credit, it will mean that the customer will have to pay you later. Now, what happens is that if uh, it happens that a customer buys from you on credit and makes partial settlement on the spot, then you will want to activate deposit so that you record the amount the customer has deposited on that invoice. I don't know if you get it. Yeah. But if you do not have this, after recording the sales uh, invoice, you will have to go and create another document, which is called receive payment, or you're going, to go, you're going to create another form, which is receive payment form, which will permit you to receive either partially or completely the amount. So I can add this deposit in case we have customers that buy from us on credit, but make advances mm -hmm. on the spot. Tax will help us to track some particular types of transactions. We're going to see them in sales forms. So I will save this section. Um, invoice payments. Uh, invoice payments, payment options, set your payment instruction for all your new invoices, payment instruction, contact, professor. So this is a message that will appear on an invoice for payment uh, to pay something like that. If you have a payment links, this will be more than this. It's going to add some payment links to it. So what about products and services? Obviously, in an accounting software, we'll have to manage products and services. If you intend to show products and service column on sales form, you take years, you take so you, you put it on. But if you do not want to show products like service column, then you will have to, 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 to close it up. Um, track uh, quantity and the price rates go track inventory on hand good. If you do not want to track inventory your company file, this way you will have to disactivate it. And this option for tracking inventory on quantity on hand will not be available in lower versions than QuickBooks Plus. But we selected QuickBooks Plus to manage uh, our business rate. So obviously we're going to have the possibility to track inventory. Progress invoice. If your company is dealing with progress invoicing, what is progress invoicing? It is billing your customer as the project or as the work is improving. I will take, for example, the case of a construction firm. If you are a construction firm and you're using people to manage your business, when a, when somebody contracts you uh, to build uh, to make a building, might be uh, two levels, and um, the first thing you will need to do it will be to 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 make estimate, make an estimate and send to the client. If you make an estimate and send to the client and the total estimate shows one billion uh one billion to build uh, that um, that story building maybe it's a hotel or whatsoever are you do you think that uh, the the customer or the client will give you all the one billion at once not at all so you will have to create an estimate which is worth one billion but you are going to progressively invoice your your customer so if you do offer some services or products or business activities that requires progress invoicing, you will want to activate this. When you activate this, it will mean that each time you're selling, uh, each time you, you you make an estimate, you can invoice your customer progressively. I can invoice your customer in 10% of the whole bill, of the whole um, 
of the whole estimate might be if foundation if you're going for foundation and foundation is for example 200 million you build your so your, your customer by 200 million but initially you must have created an estimate which will help you easily track such things okay so uh, for our own case we're just a store we do not make a progress invoicing i'm just going to allow it this way allow the level of messages yes i want to i don't want to use progress invoices and level of messages like i told you like before people's online will permit us to easily send uh, invoices to customers and when this and we send invoices to customers it uh, actually um, it actually sends with an email uh sorry i have not uh, yet sent i've not sent i've not recorded uh, the the payment you've done um when i record the payment you're surely going to receive an email from us and the email will be personalized the way it is in here so when you send an invoice to somebody or a sales receipt or an estimate to somebody this is how it is going to look like okay like the email you're going to receive i'm just going to show a sample email and if you have time i'm going to actually print uh, or make uh, your your sales your your like like you registered for this training right you register for this training right so obviously obviously in our accounting system we try actually we track our account the accounting of our profess consulting on paybooks on paybooks so normally uh, i have not had time to actually record the transaction else you have received already a mail from us and the mail will have been personalized uh, based on how you decide to make it like this is by default what is going to show up there and this is something like the subject of um, the, the, the the email and um, automatically you're going to receive the email with your receipts with your with your payment receipts or with your invoice from there easily and uh, here you can say something like email me a copy as for me each time i email our clients like i'm going to do soon um i always receive a copy of it that is why i was trying to open uh, my mirrors so that i could show you um i could show you um how how it looks like so when you say that email me a copy to profess so you can add some other people to whom you should email this maybe you have collaborators are you me maybe you have collaborators you're working with and uh, for every transaction they need to be aware of every transaction so you will want to put uh, for example there are other uh, other emails mm? other emails so that um, when you when you make the sales or the transaction why it is invoicing and the emailing the customer in question it is sending you a copy and it is also sending um, a copy to your collaborators i don't know who your collaborators might be maybe you are the accountant of the company you might add the emails of the owners of the company so that uh, for every transaction they are aware for transparency okay so so yeah you can custom for different for different uh for different um uh, type like this for an invoice you can select for uh, sales receipts and custom the message you can personalize your message or you just decide to allow the message the way it is here so um like um like for example somebody somebody paid us when i made the receipt here it sends me a copy can you see this is a copy of it here and uh, this is how the customer will receive it profess consulting payment received and so on so when he enters inside he will now see uh the the an email this email now is what you customize here automatically when you customize it here this is how it is going to show to the customer and then he will have a pdf a downloadable pdf of of his uh, sales receipts or of his invoice whatsoever document now the advantage of this is that when the customer opens this either the invoice or the sales receipt your company file will be aware whether your customer has seen it or not are you getting me it will show the day and time the customer opened it to actually know whether your customer saw the email you sent to him. We're going to be seeing how uh, how it's been done. So I'm just going to save this for now. Um, uh, we are under reminders. So these are reminders, automatic invoice reminders. So when you have your company in QuickBooks, obviously in every business you do a sell on credit. And when you sell on credit, the customers have due this for payments. And when the customer have due this for payments, it means that some days before the due day, you should remind your customer, right? Or if your if the bill goes overdue, the software, you should have to follow up with the customer. So here you can make reminders by activating automatic invoice reminders. What would this automatic invoice reminder will do? It will remind your customer three days. If you activate this, it will remind your customer the number of days you must have selected. Like let's say three days or might be seven days. Mm -hmm before before judith or you can say after judith or before judith can you see that and um, it is going to automatically do that because when you create the the, the customer's invoice all the dates are going to be there right the due dates are going to be there 
even if you are not available, even if you are not by your machine, even if uh, you've not opened your company file, you've not opened your phone, your customer will automatically receive an, uh, an email reminding him of making a certain sum of payments to the company. This can help you easily remind your customers even when you forget, even when you do not go through your, 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 your company file. Some customers, when they, they, they buy from, from, from Profest, most of the times they will only call me and say, okay, sorry, I've seen your email. I'm like, ah, oh, sorry, I've not actually sent the email. It's an automatic system, that kind of thing. It makes works really easy and good to, to work. So this kind of quick, uh, good uh, uh, email is going to send. If you want to edit the reminder, so it should be more polite than this because you should make or you should always make the reminder message should be polite, right? So that the customer should not feel like you are addressing him because of the money. So I can create that one for um, uh, before three days. Then I create another one again on due day. Okay, on due day, it should send a reminder. I can also activate now uh, something after the due date. Maybe three days after the due date. After the due date, it should send again a reminder. So what will happen? Three days before the due date of the invoice, there will be a reminder, a reminding message. On the due date, there will be a reminder. Three days after, there will be a reminder. So you see. Uh, even if I'm not available, you easily manage all of these stuff for me. Is that not nice? So, yeah, we have uh, online deliveries. Um, yeah, you decide on whether uh, when you're making or sending the invoice or sales receipt to your customer, should it show the PDF attached? Like you can see here, a PDF is attached. If you see this PDF attached, it's because this option here, I selected it. So when you will send, you will send with the PDF. Um, uh, you can decide on whether you should show a summary on the mirror. Okay, like mine was. Um, you can say show full details in mirror aside the PDF. In here, all that which is in this PDF will show in here in the mirror, so that the customer do not possibly need to open the, the PDF before he sees the detail. It will automatically be in the mirror. So if you activate this option, that is what is going to happen. So I'm just going to accept it. Then we we'll get to the next thing. You say something went wrong. Um, I mean, you're working on this at the same time. Finish uh, before you do. Okay. I don't know where I am working on the company for. You see, we are working on this. We're working on this at the same time. I mean, finished before you did you. So your work was not so. I don't know, might be my company file is locked in somewhere. Might be my company file is open somewhere. So let me just close this mail. Don't know what is going on. Okay. So if you want to activate uh, this, you can take that statement show against table in the uh, Show agent table at bottom of statement. So uh, this also a very good uh, thing to put at the at the at the bottom of uh, your document. You can put some some different statements that can uh, uh, might be a kind of greeting, uh, accept uh, greeting the customer, acknowledging him, these kind of things. So these are informations concerning uh, sales. So yeah, you can equally go to settings for. Uh, Expenses, billing expenses, uh, show item table on expense and on expense and purchase forms. So billing, bills and expenses in QuickBooks, actually, you have the possibility to enter expenses, expenses in the form of an item line without actually making an accounting entry. When you make these expenses or when you make these sales or these expenses, at the back end of QuickBooks, accounting entries are already made in order to generate the different financial reports you need. That is the particularity about these kind of softwares. It is very good for accounting management because you can actually use people from beginning to end without making accounting entries, except you need to make some kind of adjustments that are not easy to be done. But everything you can do with QuickBooks, any expense you can get, get to a, an option where we take to talk about bills and enter the bill. So here they say show item table on expense and purchase forms. Item table. So when you are on expense form, meaning you're going to have a form where you actually record expenses like transport, electricity, internet. And they are asking whether you should the, 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 that form should have an item table. The item table is actually for purchases. When they're talking about these items, they are talking about uh, the products you are selling. So that in a billing statement, you can have the possibility to add products. 
uh, tax in fields, we're going to see them in a, an expense form. Track expenses and items by customer. If you activate this, when you make an expense, you can specify on who you made the expense because you can you can actually make you can actually um, be selling to a customer. Then there is an expense that you have to record, which is, for example, transportation, right? So you can then attach the customer for whom you are making this expense. It will help you to generate some specific types of reports to know how much you spent on the customer and how much you've received from that customer to see whether you are even overspending on that customer or not. Because uh, if you do not track this, uh, your expenses are just going to be generalized, but you will not have the possibility to have expenses you've made on different customers. So if you intend to do that in your sales on your expense forms, you have the possibility to select a customer while you are recording the expense so that that expense amount should be attributed to this customer in question. Are you still with me? So make expenses and the items billable. Billable, we're going to be seeing this in expense form so you easily understand. So uh, default bill payment uh, term. So you can here put a term so that by default when you create a bill, a bill already you should know that a bill here will be considered as a document that you record or an, an, an expenditure that you, you record that you've not yet paid. So if you select, for example, net, 50, net 30, each time you create a bearing statement, uh, by default, it will have a net 30, means you will, it will, the terms of payment will be in the next 30 days, that kind of thing. But if you put nothing, it means that you will have the possibility to put a due date yourself, a due date of payment yourself. So purchase orders. If you intend to manage purchase orders, like, okay, your customer, your, your, you, you, need to, you need to send a purchase order to your supplier so that he, or he sends you some, uh, some goods, so you will want to activate your purchase orders. Um, messages default email sent uh, with purchase order okay for the purchase order this is where you can customize the email that you show and here you can send you a copy and if possible send order uh, add other emails to whom you can send this for transparency in your business management so here we get to time um yeah you can specify the first day of the week if your first day of the week is sunday you allow sunday if your first day of the week is monday you put just monday so it will consider monday as the first day of the week and when you do this it will help you to um uh, to have reports per week have reports per week your weekly report will actually start from sunday to saturday and if you select here another date you start from that date to the date before to the more to the day before actually time sheet show service fields allow uh, time to be billable okay in the time sheet if at all we want to bill our customers on time so from here i can go to advance under advance there are a lot of advanced settings here you can specify the first month of your accounting period which i'm going to allow to january you can uh, your first month of tax of tax year so i can just allow it as same as that of the financial year uh here you have the possibility to specify your accounting method in accounting there are two basically two or three types of accounting methods either the actual accounting system or the cash accounting system with the actual accounting system you record transactions when they occur and you have the possibility to manage your accounts payables and your accounts receivables with the cash system if you specify the cash system you have you you are actually working on a system where you record it you record transactions only when there is a cash movement only when you are making a payment so i will actually advise you to always work on the accurate system so you can track your accounts payable and your accounts receivable in accounting in the accounting cycle after identifying transaction after recording transaction after putting them in ledgers after making your unadjusted trial balance after making adjustments on the unadjusted trial balance after having your adjusted trial balance after preparing your financial statements what comes next closing your books so at the end of a period this is where you close your books you come and take these to close your books and you enter the date of closure of the books and uh, you will surely be asked to put the password of the company so what is the meaning of this closure of books you can close an accounting period like for example uh, we are soon going to close the year 2023 by the end of the year 2023 why you're going to the next year which is 2024 mm -hmm. you will have to close your books for 2023 so that somebody should not come and record transactions mistakenly without uh, actually entering a password in your company fund, so that it should not affect your ending results
so if I am inactive, for example, for one hour, uh, the software is going to log me out and I will have to log in again next time. So this is all about the different settings we had to see. And in our next video, we are going to see how to use the software.